Hi, I'm Pastor David with Declaration Church. And in today's society, here in the Western world, in the United States where I live, there is a huge buzzword for being healthier and living life to the fullest, and it is activity. Being active. What does active mean? On my Apple Watch, I have activity rings. People are always asking when you start looking at ways to get healthier, if you look at any website or if you're looking for diets or, or those kinds of things and you're trying to get things really set up just for you and your lifestyle, it'll ask you how active you are. Your doctor might ask you, how active are you? Are you pretty sedentary? Are you really active? What is your life like? How active are you? Because we know that our level of activity is directly tied to our level of physical health. When we're more active, we tend to be physically healthier. We tend to have stronger muscles. We tend to be more, we have more endurance. We tend to be a healthier physically as well as mentally. Honestly, activity levels have been linked to certain levels of mental health as well. And so it's important to be active and we understand that, but a lot of times it's one of those things that's really difficult to do. I tell my kids and I've told other people all the time, the most difficult part of any workout is actually the beginning. It's just getting started. Once you get started, it's way easier to finish. It's just taking that first step, take, making that first rep, doing what you need to do to actually get that workout started. And that's the most difficult part of any workout, at least for me, that's how it works. But being active is really important. But being active is something that involves the word of God in our spiritual health as well. And not the same kind of thing, not physical activity, not making sure that you're out walking or you're, you have some kind of exercise routine or, or making sure that you're maintaining your physical activity. No, when I was reading through Hebrews, I came across a verse and I've read it many times before, but it's really important for us to understand that with the word of God, there is activity that takes place when we expose ourselves to the word of God, when we, like, when we let the word of God really get active in our lives, then we see the same kinds of benefits in our spiritual health as well. Hebrews chapter four, verse 12 says, for the word of God is living and active. The word of God is active. The word of God is something we ingest that into our lives. When we take the word of God and we actually ingest that into our lives, it is living and active. It will affect our spiritual health. It says it's living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and the intentions of of the heart. See, the word of God is active and it's alive and it moves in powerful ways in our lives so that it gets us past our own preconceptions. It gets us past our own, honestly, self-deception. We can really, we're really good, really good as people at fooling ourselves into believing things that aren't true as it relates to us. Oh, I'm doing really well. You know, maybe you maybe you look at yourself, right? You get on the scale. You're not really very healthy. You're not really very active. Okay, I was in this position just a few years ago. I was in this position where I was really not very healthy. I was really not super active. I wasn't eating well. I wasn't doing things in the right way to maintain my physical health. And I would step on the scale and I said, well, you know, muscle weighs more than fat. So, uh, you know, me lifting weights and those things, well, you know, I'm probably pretty healthy, even though, you know, the scale says that I'm heavier than I should be. You know, and we're able to make those kinds of jumps. And the reality was I wasn't really very healthy. I needed to make some changes in my life to be healthier. And so the word of God is like that for us spiritually. We'll do the same thing with our spiritual lives. We'll convince ourselves that we're doing better than we really are by looking around and finding examples of people who are doing worse. And the word of God is living and active. It gets right through there. It cuts to the heart of the matter. It cuts right through all of those deceptions and it blows those things away if we will allow it to do so. And it will tear down all that self-deception, tear down all of those things that prevent us from growing in Christ. And it will allow us and activate within our lives to actually increase our level of spiritual health. The word of God is alive, it's active, it's moving, and it changes us from the inside out. 
I've experienced it in my own life in a hundred different ways. And it's so important to make sure that we get the Word of God into our lives and ingest it on an honest level. We have to allow it to influence our lives in ways that might be painful, at least at first. Because Jesus told us that to follow him was going to require us to take up our cross daily. The cross is heavy and it's painful, but it leads us to greater stages of health and growth and life because Jesus came that we might have life and have it to the full. And so I hope that while this video might be challenging to you to increase the amount of the word of God that you're ingesting in your own life, so that it can pierce through those things, the self-deceptions that cause us to be spiritually, mentally, emotionally unhealthy. But that it will encourage you that as you walk through this life, Jesus' intention for you is that you have real life and have it to the absolute fullest possible extent. Because that's what he wants for you and that's what he wants for me. It's what he wants for all of us as a human race is for us to know him and have the fullest possible life. So if this video has been challenging to you, if it's been encouraging to you, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel so that you and I can continue to walk together as we grow as disciples of Jesus, as we continue to follow Jesus together. I'm looking forward to being a part of your journey with Jesus. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of that today. Subscribe to the channel, smash the bell so that you're notified every time that we put out new content. As always, I'm Pastor David, and I'm out.